In this video, we'll be talking about compound interest. Let's look at an example. John and Sarah have recently had a daughter and have created a savings account for her college education. How much should they deposit today to have $30,000 in the account in 18 years if their account earns 2.4% compounded quarterly? Now the compound interest problems, unlike the simple interest problems, can be done in the TVM solver in our calculator as long as it's not compounded continuously. We'll have another video for that and we'll need a formula for those. But compounding daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, any of those are fine for the TVM solver. So let's open that up in our calculator. So we hit apps, finance, and then we select TVM solver. All right. So if you recall, n is going to be the number of times interest is compounded, not just per year, but total. So for this problem, we're compounding interest quarterly, so that's four times per year for 18 years. So we can do four times 18, and we can put all of that in there, and it'll do the calculation for us. So if we hit enter, we can see that that's 72. Now the interest rate we put in as a percentage, so 2.4%, we put in as 2.4. The next number is the present value. Now in this problem, we want to know how much John and Sarah should deposit today, so that's going to be the present value. That's going to be what we're solving for. Now the next part asks for the payment. Now in some problems, we will have uh, payments. Some amount of money is being deposited on a regular basis. But in this problem, we don't have that. Uh, John and Sarah just want to deposit one amount of money today to save up to $30,000 in 18 years. So we won't have any payment here. So we can move down to future value. That's the amount of money we want to have in the future. And so we want to be able to take that money out of the account. So that's going to make that a positive number, $30,000. All right, now the payments per year and compounds per year. Uh, this is quarterly, so we'll change those to four. All right, uh, there's no payments, so we don't need to change the payment uh, from end to begin. It won't matter either way. And we wanna solve for our present value. So we'll hit alpha and then enter. And we could see that John and Sarah would need to deposit $19,501 and about 44 cents uh, to be able to save up uh, for their daughter's education in 18 years. 